Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Bradford Guardian 4 fixed blade knife. Now this is how it comes in the box. Nothing too fancy with it at all. We've just got the knife and the sheath. We've got some information here on looking after your knife. But then this is a nice touch. You've actually got um, Bradford Larkin's personal uh, business card there from Bradford USA. So there's various types of the Guardian knives. Now you've got the Guardian 4, which this one is. Now that pretty much designates that you've got a uh, cutting blade of about four inches. If you go up to the Guardian 6, well then that increases to six inches, for example. So that's how they work it out with the numbers on the knives. Now the Guardian 4 was designed for camping, hiking, hunting, so pretty much that's gonna be my use. The overall length of it is 9.12 inches or 232 millimeters. Now the cutting edge on it is 4.12 inches or 105 millimeters. Now the blade thickness on it is 0.165 of an inch or 4.2 millimeters with a saber grind. So this is designed to give maximum edge strength. So obviously with it being a bit thicker there too, like I'm going to try it out with just general prying as well once we get out on the farm, you know, and put this through its paces. Now the blade material on this is M390, so that is an ultra premium steel. Edge retention on it will be 9 out of 10. Corrosion resistance, 7 out of 10, but ease of sharpening drops down to 2 out of 10. Now this is the trade-off when you start going into the super steels. You know, you'll have excellent edge retention, but to actually get that edge is a lot more difficult than some of the uh, softer steels. Now we've got the drop point at the front, and I really like just the look of the blade itself, especially here with the uh, black DLC coating, so that's the diamond-like coating. I really like it. Some people, you know, prefer like the original, more traditional steel look or a stone wash finish. Well, look, hey, no problem there because Bradford also, um, you know, have that as an option. Now the handle is a camo 3D micarta, so yeah, it just looks really nice. The best thing about it though is just how it swells out and it just fits in your palm beautifully. The choil at the front here is deep enough so that obviously you can get your finger out of the way of the base of the blade so you're not going to cut yourself out in the field. The jimping on top is just really nicely located. You can just get a really firm grip on this knife so you can put a lot of strength into your cutting. Now the overall weight of it is 6.3 ounces or 178 grams, so it's not too heavy at all. The leather sheath that it comes with basically has a plastic insert so that <laughs> every time you put this knife into the sheath, you're not going to start slicing and cutting into the uh, sheath. Now one thing I'll say guys, this knife, not only does it look beautiful, it is ridiculously sharp. Like I am talking insanely sharp. The uh, point on it here, the edge, I have not seen a knife like this straight out of the box, um, oh, maybe forever. This would probably have to be the sharpest or if not one of the sharpest fixed blade knives I have ever come across out of the box and that's saying something. So yeah, very, very nice looking knife in general and very sharp out of the box. Now the price on this is $399.95. Now guys, I get um, my Bradford knives from Nebo Knives. Now they sell all different sorts of knives. But why I'm showing you this card is because um, Craig, the owner there, has come to us and offered us 10% for viewers, okay? I just um, was really happy with the generosity there. So he's offered that. So all you need to do is just go to the uh, webpage there, neboknives.com.au, and throw in Aussie 10. So O double Z I E 1 0, and you'll just get 10% taken off your order. Absolutely fantastic, and a big thanks to them for offering something to the viewers. Okay, so let's get out on the farm now, guys. I want to put this through a heap of different tests and just show you what a quality knife can do.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna wrap up my final thoughts on the Bradford Guardian 4. Now, as I said in the intro, this fixed blade knife is probably one of the sharpest knives I've seen out of the box, and I still stand by that comment. Reason being is no matter how much I was stabbing with it, cutting with it, you know, it has just retained that tip and edge beautifully. And that's thanks obviously to that M390 steel. You know, it is an ultra premium steel and uh, it really holds that edge very, very well. Now, the actual use of it, you know, it feels nice. Whether you have it in the sheath um, or just in your hand, you can just really get a great purchase on it. You can use it, you know, to pry like I was showing there with prying bark. Um, you know off different bits of timber you can use it around the camp there cutting up you know food items you can also have it you know in your saddlebags if you're into horse riding you know you can easily cut leather with it or cut rope out in the field whatever you want to do it's just a very very high quality knife and when you do get something like this you know it's a lifelong investment guys you know this is the sort of knife that I'm going to have forever um, you know they're just not going to wear out even after a year I found uh, it very interesting because when I was starting to bash it through that um, hardwood especially, you could see different scrape marks you know, up the blade there. And that DLC coating, I thought, oh, maybe it's coming off. But no, all I did was just simply um, wash it and have a look at it. It's like brand new. I just put a bit of water under it, no detergent, nothing like that. And it's just brought it up really nice again. So yeah, very, very high quality. As for the price, guys, yeah, of course, you, you get what you pay for. Um, however, the best that I've been able to do is get that 10% discount from Nebo Nice for all of you guys at home. There's no catch. I don't get any reimbursement for it, nothing like that. It's just simply a thank you from Nebo Knives to Aussie Reviews for what I do. And also it's a big thank you to you guys, the viewers, because ultimately, um, you know, I appreciate that very much. So guys, please give the video the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next review.